Joining us more to talk about what this deal in Cyprus means and potentially to the rest of Southern Europe is Ibrahim Owis. He's the professor of economics at Georgetown University here in Washington, D.C. Professor, welcome. Welcome to the show. And let me start by asking you, we've asked a lot of questions about this deal. No one's really that happy with the deal. No. Employees lose their jobs. Depositors lose their money. Some of the depositors will come out better than others. But in your experience, you've seen a lot of different crises. How do we compare this? What do we compare this crisis to? Nothing can be compared to this crisis. Maybe close to it, yes. And I think that um, what happened in the United States in 2008. The Lehman. In Lehman Brothers and um, other financial institutions that had collapsed. Uh, and the need for bailout. There's a couple of different angles here. I'm going to start with this one. Has there been a failure by leaders in the EU? I mean, at one point, they bailed out Greece. They bailed out all these other different countries. Here comes Cyprus. Nine months later, the IMF, the World Bank, all these big institutions can't come up with a proper deal. Cyprus has to bail itself out. It, it, has this been a surprise to you? No, it is uh, no surprise because it is always a problem of greed. And once you have that, um, then it could really make uh, the market uh, collapse. There, there Don't is... forget that there are so many or thousands of Russians who deposited money. Billions. Um, exactly, in Cyprus in order to evade taxation. And of course, when the, this amount of money, once the banks are open in Cyprus, after this, there would be um, an outflight of money. And this possibly coming on Thursday when the banks might reopen again is what yes, we're hearing. It, it may be open again, but if they do, then there would be a capital flight. Uh, let, me, let me ask you about the historical significance of this because comments coming out of the EU from different leaders from out of Amsterdam basically said that from this point forward, this should be an example that don't expect the European taxpayer to bail you out, you meaning those countries or institutions that are in trouble. Is this a whole new level of you've got to bail yourself out in Europe? Uh, it is a way to make every country responsible about itself. Because the largest economy within the Union is Germany. And Germany had been bailing out many other uh, economies in within the Eurozone. Um, and therefore, uh, there must be a point whereby uh, this bailout will have to stop. P Professor, uh, I only have time for one more question. Six months from now, is this an inflection point for something much worse to come in Europe, or is the problem solved? I, I don't think it will be uh, much worse uh, in six months from now. And the reason for that, that Cyprus is a small country. Um, and its economy, in uh, comparison to that of Germany or other uh, countries, is insignificant. And therefore, it is going to be a passing episode. It will not lead to further problems within the Eurozone. Well, certainly a lot of people in Europe hope that you're right. Professor Owies, thank you very much from Georgetown University here in Washington, D.C.